once again to Karimbu. Today is um, the final episode in season two of the most popular quiz show, Karimbu. This week's contestants are Charles Afote Odai, David Eva, Ebenezer Kote. These are the rules for the final Karimbu quiz for season two. Each contestant will have the opportunity to randomly choose her questions. Each contestant will answer 20 general questions. The general questions are worth three points each. The contestant will also answer four map reading questions each. The map reading questions are five points each. There is a segment called Ultimate Karimbu, where the contestant each answer a different written question. The ultimate Karimbu segment is worth 10 points. Each contestant then has a total possible score of 100 points. Time allotted is 5 seconds for general questions and 5 seconds for map reading questions. For the ultimate Karimbu, each contestant has 1 minute to answer. When the time is up, there will be a buzzer which sounds like this. Good luck to all of you. And I welcome you once again to the show, and we're about to start, so, all right. Okay, so now we're going to start, we'll start with Charles, and uh, each question is in the form of a riddle, and even when the question is about a, a region or a country, that uh, region or country is going to be personified. So now we're going to start the segment on Ghana, and we're starting with Charles. So Charles, pick a card. 25. The elections in the year 2000 was won by the NPP. If the NDC had won, I would have been sworn in as the Vice President of Ghana in January 2001. Who am I? Martin Amidu. That is correct, Martin Amidu. <laughs> David, pick. I was a minister of state in the First Republic. In 1988, I was appointed ambassador to Saudi Arabia. From 1993 to 2000, I served as the chairman of the Council of State. My son attained the second highest political office in 2017. Who am I? Elijah That is absolutely correct. Fantastic. And Ebenezer. As a footballer, I was known as the king of wingers. I led Ghana Black Stars to win the Africa Cup of Nations in 1963. Who am I? Baba Yara. Baba Yara is correct. Absolutely right. I'm unbelievably happy. <laughs> so back again to Charles. Seven. I am a former police officer and former judge. I was the first Ghanaian woman to preside over the highest court in Ghana, the Supreme Court. Who am I? Georgina Todora Wood. Yeah, that's correct. Hey, I think we're going to have a tie. <laughs> well done. <laughs> David. David, I was second lady of Ghana for three years and six months, from January 2009 until July 2012. Immediately after that tenure as First Lady, I became First Lady for four years and five months. Who am I? Lordina Mahama. Yeah, that's right, Lordina Mahama. <laughs> okay. Question four. Question four. I was born in the Gold Coast. I designed a city which made it possible for the greater Accra region to also have the opportunity to indulge in international maritime business. Who am I? Theodore Clark. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> well done, well done, well done. Charles. Three. Question number three. Just like the big six, I am one of the leaders of the Gold Coast and whose image can be found on currency in Ghana. 
But unlike any of the big six, I was born in 1875 and I died in 1927. Who am I? James Kwajero Yeah, that's right. <laughs> this is really studied. David? 12. Question 12. I died in Accra in 1964. I died from a bullet which was aimed at another person. If I had not died, Ghana could have experienced another bereavement which would have, which could have led to a political crisis. Who am I? Superintendent Sally Fudalat. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, it's your seven, turn. 17. So. I was once first lady in Ghana. My tenure in that position ended in February 1966. Who am I? Fatia Nkuma. Yeah, Fatia Nkuma. <laughs> Charles. 18. I am a football club which was founded in the 1960s by Ghana's first president as a backup for the Black Stars and to represent the whole country. Agrifin was one of the most famous captains of the club, me. What was my name? Ghana Real Republicans. Yeah, we're right. Yeah, right. Ghana Real Republicans. <laughs> David. Nine. I am one of the brains behind the Pan-African Historical Theatre pro Project known by the acronym PANAFEST, which was founded to bring Africans on the continent and the diaspora together over issues such as slavery. I am also the author of many works, including one entitled Edufa. Who am I? I'm a tell you. The first I don't. You're right. If I saw the land, you, you got it right in the nick of time. It's if we saw the land. Okay. Number six. I was a flag bearer of the United National Convention, which contested in the 1979 elections. I used to belong to an older political organization that bears a similar name to the United National Convention. Who am I? William Mufoviata. That is correct. Right. <laughs> Charles. 30. When Ghana was called the Gold Coast, there was a lawmaking body called the Legislative Assembly, which, like Parliament, had a speaker. I was the first speaker of that body. Who am I? Emmanuel Charles Quest. Yes, that's right. Emmanuel Quest. Okay. David? 27. I am one of the women who has served as First Lady of Ghana. My late mother-in-law was also First Lady of Ghana in 1969. Who am I? I'm sorry, you were bailed out. The answer is actually very easy. It's Rebecca Akufu Adu. 23. Ebenezer. I was never head of state in Ghana, but I was elected by the people of Ghana to be the head of government and to lead the country in 1969. My office came to an abrupt end in early 1972. Who am I? Dr. K. Ebuzia. Yeah, Dr. K. Buzi has yeah. <laughs> so, I am the former member of parliament for Kumbungu. In 2004, the MPP won the election and Al Haji Aliu Mahama was sworn into office in 2005 for a second term as vice president of Ghana. If the NDC had won that election, I would have been the one sworn in as vice president. Who am I? Al Haji Mumuni. Yes, you are right. Actually, I'll give it to you. Um, the answer I wanted was Mohammed Mumuni, but you use his title, so you are right. <laughs> David. 26. In 1975, I became the first Ghanaian to win the World Featherweight Boxing Champion Championship in Boxing. Who am I? I don't know. Nope. DK Poison. Yeah, DK Poison is correct. 
right. <laughs> okay. Number 19. I served in the second highest office in the land from 2008 till 2012. The man who preceded me in that position shares my surname. Who am I? Sorry, you were bailed out. The answer to that question is John Dramani Mahama. All right. Two. I am a former justice of the Supreme Court, the highest court in Ghana, and I became Speaker of Parliament, which is the third most important position in the political hierarchy of Ghana from 2009 until 2013. Who am I? Joyce Bamford. Yes, that's right. Joyce Bamford. Adam. David. 20. 20. My name is Mabel Dav Dankwa, and I'm one of the first women in Ghana to be the editor of a newspaper. Which newspaper did I edit? The Ghanaian Times. The Daily. The Ghanaian Daily. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't give you that, David. That was your third option. Okay. 13. On the night of June 30th, 1982, Four distinguished Ghanaians, three judges, and an army officer were abducted from their homes and murdered. I was the only woman among the four Ghanaians murdered on the night of June 30th, 1982. Who am I? Justice Cecilia. Grant yeah, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay. Charles. 22. From 1966 to 1967, I was one of the members of the National Liberation Council, which governed Ghana after the ouster of President Nkrumah. My name appears on the travel documents of international air travelers to and from Ghana. Who am I? Kotoka, Lieutenant General E.K. Kotoka. Yeah, that's right, Kotoka. <laughs> David. 11. 11. The National Liberation Council was once the ruling body that governed Ghana. I am one of the members of that council who was selected to be the head of state in 1966. Who am I? Lieutenant General Ankara. Ankara is correct. Well done. Question five. Question number five. Here we go. I was born in 1894 in the then Gold Coast. Before me, 12 British people had held my distinguished position. I was the first Gold Coaster to have the honor of presiding over the Supreme Court of the Gold Coast. Who am I? Say, uh, say, in case, say, call, I can't, say, say, call, sir. Say, I call, sir. I'm sorry, I can't give it to you. It is Akukosa, but you had it at, I think, the fourth, third or fourth, you know. Charles. 14. I was second lady of Ghana from January 1997 to January 2001. Then I became a private citizen for eight years until January 2009 when I became first lady. Who am I? Konedu Ajuma Rollins. No. I'm sorry, the answer is Mrs. Nadu Mills. David. 21. In April 1967, there was an attempted uprising in Ghana that was aborted. I and two other officers were tried and convicted for that action. The two officers were executed and I received a 30-year prison term. Who am I? Second Lieutenant Oku Ose. Yes, Ose. correct. Absolutely correct. Well done. 24. 24. Okay. I once held the second highest political office in Ghana. I was sworn into office in September 1979 and held that office for two years and three months. After me, there have been six others who have held that position. Who am I? J.W. DeGraff Johnson. Correct. J.W. DeGraff Johnson. Okay. Charles Afutin. 15. 15. 
I was a second lady of Ghana during the tenure of President Kufuor. This was from January 2001 until January 2009. Who am I? Mamatu Ali Umama. That is correct. Well done. David. Eight. Eight. I was Ghana's Attorney General in 2001. In 2005, I was appointed Minister of Foreign Affairs. After that tenure of office, I became a private citizen in 2009 for several years before I joined the government again. Who am I? Nana Ado Dankwa Ekufuad. Oh, that's correct. Well done. <laughs> okay. Question one. Wow, question one comes last. Eh? Mm -hmm. In the First Republic, I was the regional commissioner or regional minister for the northern region. I am also the late father-in-law of one of the former first ladies. Who am I? Elijah E.A. Mahama. Well, that is correct. Well done. <laughs> well, this has been a fantastic round. I don't know how the scores went. I'm afraid to guess, but I think it's almost a tie. Maybe only one or two questions have stopped it from being a, a you know, a, a three-way tie. Well done, guys. So now we are done with the Ghana questions. It's time now for them to do the map questions, map interpretation questions. Um, for the purposes of the finals, they are not going to have the opportunity of pointing out anything on the map. Now take the questions to them and let them pick two questions each at random. Once again, I'm going to start with Charles and ask him to pick a card. Three. Question number three, Charles. It's also a riddle. I am the Upper West region. What is on my southern boundary and what is on my northern boundary? Northern boundary, Burkina Faso, and southern boundary, Savannah region. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> David, you pick a card. Five. Question number five. I am the Savannah region. What is on my eastern boundary and what is on my western boundary? Eastern boundary, northern region, western boundary, Côte d'Ivoire. Absolutely correct. Hey! My guys, well done. Question four. Question number four. Okay. I am the OT region. What entity is on my southern boundary and what entity is on my eastern boundary? Southern boundary is Volta region and the northern boundary is northern region. Okay. I didn't say northern. Um, I said eastern. And you gave me the answer for northern. So my best bet is to give you half because you did get half of it correct. Charles. Two. Two. I am the western region of Ghana. What lies on my southern boundary and what lies on my eastern boundary? It's a uh, eastern boundary, central region, southern boundary, the Atlantic Ocean. Correct. That's right. Okay. okay. David. Six. Mm -hmm. I am the greater Accra region. What is on my northern boundary and what is on my western boundary? Northern boundary, eastern region, and western boundary, central region. Absolutely correct. Well done. And the last one. Question one. Interesting. I am the Volta region. What is on my southern boundary and what is on my northern boundary? Atlantic Ocean on the southern boundary and Oti region on the northern boundary. Very good. Well done. Okay. That, that does it for the map interpretation round which um, you've all done very very well and it's now time for ultimate karimbu so david what number do you pick 
question number three. There you go. Don't turn it over yet. Charles? Question number one. Question number one. And I believe that you must have picked question number two. There you go. We are going to give you 15 seconds to read your question and then you'll have 45 seconds to answer the written question. Are we ready? Okay, you can flip over. Okay, pens down, Charles, pens down. Answers, I'll start off with Charles. Give me, give me your card. And give me your card. And give me your card, thank you. So now, I'm going to start with question number one. The question was this. Nkrumah, Ankara, Akufuadu, Achampong, Akufu, Rawlings, Liman, Kufuo, Atta Mills, Mahama, and Akufuado have all been head of state of Ghana. Some of them had vice presidents and some did not. Name the first four people who had the honor of serving as vice presidents in Ghana. And the answer I wanted was DeGraff Johnson. He was the first. Um, Ko Aka was the second, Atta Mills was the third, and Ali Mahama was the fourth. The person who answered this question was giving me presidents and not vice presidents. I asked for vice presidents. Some of them had vice presidents and some did not. Name the first four people who, who had the honor to serve as vice president of Ghana. So, um, let me see whether you got any of them correct. You got Atta Mills on the list. So you got one correct there. And you got Mahama. But you didn't say whether it was Ali Mahama or John Mahama. I'll give you Atta Mills and I'll also give you Mahama. And that is it that I'll give. So I'll give you half marks for that one. Question number two, which was the same, you know, the question number two had the same um, premise. Nkrumah, Ankara, Akufuado, Achampo, Akufu, Rawlings, Liman, Kufu, Atamils, Mahama, and Akufuado have all been head of state of Ghana. Name the first four heads of state who had a vice president. And you've also given me a list of vice presidents. I'm, I'm saying that name the first four heads of state who had a vice president. So all the answers you've given me, JW, DeGraff Johnson, Ko Aka, and Ali Mahama. All of them are vice presidents, and I'm asking for the president who had a vice president. Okay, so I can't give you any points for that. It's David, uh, the question was this. In 1900, a British newspaper wrote that an African warrior led an army of 20,000 soldiers to wage war on the British army. The newspaper used a biblical analogy to describe the battle. Name one, the warrior, two, the newspaper, three, the name given to the battle, and four, the biblical metaphor. And his answers were, one, Ya Santua, that is correct. Two, the newspaper was the star in 19, that is also correct. And three, the Ya Asantua war, that I can't give it to you because it says clearly the battle of the golden stool. That is the name of the battle. And um, four, you got that right. The warrior was described as David and the British army was described as Goliath. 
So you got that right. Um, I'll give you, I'll give you half a point, half, half marks, please, half marks for number three, where he said the yes and to a war. It's the Battle of the Golden Stool. Hello, welcome back to Karimbu. This is the final, final episode of season two. And we've just finished the segment on Ghana and we are going to tackle the segment on Africa. Before then, let's look at how the quiz is shaping up. We have in the lead, David Efa of Presec with 43 points, Charles at 42, and Ebenezer at 31.5. Yeah, okay. Well done to all of you. You've done, all done very, very well. I'm so impressed. Now, um, the producer is going to come forward for you to pick your numbers again for the questions on Africa. Once again, we start with Charles. Open. E. I am the oldest and largest mud structure in the world. I was built in the 13th century. I'm also the oldest mud-built mosque and I am in Mali. What is my name? The Jenny Mosque. The Great Mosque of Jenny. Correct. Okay. Go on. Okay. I am an African leader who was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize which I shared with Israeli Menachem Begin in 1978. I was president of my country from 1970 to 1981 when I was assassinated in public. Who am I? Albert Mutu. Nope. Nelson Mandela. Sorry, you got that wrong. That was Anwar Sadat. Okay. All right. Question six. I am a desert in Africa. I'm considered the oldest desert in the world. I have the highest sand dunes of any desert, but unlike other deserts which are inland, I am a coastal desert. What is my name? Namib Desert. The Namib Desert is correct. <laughs> Charles. 14. I am an East African language. People have spoken me since the 13th century. I have my own al alphabet of over 200 letters or characters. What is my name? The Eritrean language. Name of the language. Eritrean. I'm sorry, um, I'll give him half. The reason I will not accept the Eritrean language, the language is called Tigrinya, spoken in Eritrea. But we don't know whether people in Djibouti and Ethiopia and Somalia also speak it. We know it's mostly, mostly spoken in Eritrea. So I wanted the name of the language. Okay. David. 15. David, I am a landlocked country in Africa. My name was inspired by a great river. Centuries ago, I was part of the Songhai, Mali, and Bornu empires. I was also part of the Hausa state and an important crossroad for trade in Africa. Who am I? Niger. Niger is right. Question, two. Question number two. I led the MPLA, which is an acronym for Movimento Popular D. The better cow, the Angola. I was also the first president of my country. Who am I? Agostino Neto. Agostino Neto is correct. Good. All right. Charles. Nine. I was a king in Northern Africa until 1969 when I was overthrown by Muammar Gaddafi who remained in office until an uprising in 2012. What's my name? King Idris. King Idris is correct. David? 
18. I am an African country. In the year 1989, my government with Prime Minister Sadiq Al Mahdi was overthrown in a coup. The man who orchestrated the coup held power until 2019 when he himself was ousted amid protests. What country am I? Equatorial Guinea. Nope. S South Sudan. I'm sorry. Sudan. Sudan. You almost got it. Question nine. Question number nine. I am a lake in Africa. I am so huge that I cover one third of the area of a major country. In the 19th century, European travelers were so mesmerized by my beauty at night that they named me the Lake of Stars. What is my real name? Lake Malawi. Lake Malawi is correct. Okay. Charles? Nineteen. I am the amphitheater of El Gem, built in about the year 238 AD. That's less than 300 years after Jesus Christ walked the earth. Some accounts say that I can seat up to 60,000 people. I have survived 2,000 years of wear and tear and war. In what country am I? Tunisia. Tunisia is correct. <laughs> David. 23. My name is Idi Amin, and I became president of Uganda through a coup in 1971. I was accused of many human rights abuses, and I was finally deposed. In what year was I deposed? 1979. 1979 is correct. Very good. Question seven. I was prominent in the independence struggle of my country, which is Cameroon. I also played a major role in uniting my country, which had been divided into two parts based on two European colonial factions. I assumed office in 1962. Who am I? Amadou Ahidjo. Amadou Ahidjo. <laughs> Charles. 16. I was the first president of my country from 1975 to 1986. I died in an air crash. Many years later, my widow married Nelson Mandela of South Africa. Who am I? Samora Michelle. Yeah, that's right, Samora Michelle. <laughs> I sorry, David. Seven. My name is Namdi Azikwe, and I'm called the father of Nigerian nationalism. I was the first president of Nigeria, and the tenure of my office ended in 1966. What position did I hold immediately prior to my becoming president? Prime Minister. No. Governor. Governor. Very good. <laughs> yes. Five. Listen to the question very carefully. <laughs> and don't tell me you misunderstood. It's clear. My name is Robert Mugabe, and I was the first president of Zimbabwe. I led the country to independence and black majority rule. What was my nationality before I became president of Zimbabwe? A Ghanaian? No. A Zimbabwe? South African? I'm sorry. <laughs> the answer is Rhodesian. The country was Rhodesia. He was a Rhodesian and he fought for the independence of Rhodesia. After Rhodesia got independence, then they changed the name to Zimbabwe. So before he became president of Zimbabwe, he was a Rhodesian. Okay. All right. Charles. 21. I was the executive director of United Nations Women. And from 2005 to 2008, I was also the deputy president of South Africa. Who am I? Flamzo Mlabo Ngoka. Yeah. You are right. <laughs> I don't know if you massacred the name or if it's correct. But, <laughs> but <laughs> Ngoka is right, yeah. Um, I, you know, read it at Mlambo Ngoka. Fumzile Mlambo Ngoka. Well done. <laughs> okay, David. <laughs> Twelve. 
from the 13th century until 1975, my country was an absolute monarchy and I was the last emperor in the centuries old dynasty. I was crowned in 1930 and was deposed in a coup d'etat in 1974. Who am I? The, the king of... Sorry. <laughs> the answer is Haile Selassie of Ethiopia. He was crowned in 1930 and he was deposed in a coup in 1974 and he was the last um, emperor of that um, monarchy, of that dynasty. Okay, Haile Selassie. Question okay. 20. I am Kenneth Kaunda and I was Zambia's first president. I was in office for about 27 years, from 1964 until 1991. How did I eventually leave office? Assassination. Nope. A coup d'etat. I'm sorry. No, you've had your two. I was defeated in elections. <laughs> okay, now you said you gave the answer which is common in Africa, but in this case, he was, after so many years, he was actually defeated in elections. He, he you know, he wasn't overthrown by force. Okay. Charles. 22. My name is Abubakar Tafawa Balewa, and I was one of the first prime ministers in a newly independent Africa. What is my country? Nigeria. Nigeria is correct. <laughs> David. Question four. I am a landlocked African country. Landlocked African country mentioned dozens of times in the holy books of the Abrahamic religions, the Quran, the Bible, the Torah, and Homer's Odyssey, which was written in the 8th century BC. Who am I? Ethiopia. Ethiopia is correct. Question three. I was the African country of Dahomey. In 1960, I attained independence, but in 1975, Another extremely important event happened to me. What happened to me, Dahomey, in 1975? He attained a new name, which was the, which was a body of water on the southern border of the country. Yes, I have to give it to him. My name changed to Benin. I was named after the Bite of Benin, which is a body of water. Yeah, okay. <laughs> My name changed to Benin. <laughs> well done, Charles. 24. I am a playwright, poet, and essayist. I was the first African to win the world's highest prize in literature, which is the Nobel. Who am I? Wole <laughs> Soyinka. Wow. Wole <laughs> Soyinka. Yeah, right. David. 17. SWAPO is an acronym for the Southwest Africa People's Organization. I led SWAPO to fight for Namibia's independence from South Africa. I'm also the first president of my country. Who am I? Sam Yoma. Sam Yoma. Okay, very good. <laughs> Question number 10. I was the ruler of one of the wealthiest countries in the world in terms of natural resources. I was one of several rulers in my country. The first one being the Mata Patrice Lumumba. I was in office from 1965 until 1997, 32 years in all. I was finally forced into exile in 1997. Who am I? Yeah, Mobutu Seseseku. Yeah, Well done, well done, well done, guys. Charles Afute. 13. 13. I am the daughter of, or I was the daughter of Congolese President Dennis Sasu Ngwesu. I was a pediatrician and I got married to the president of a neighboring country. I was first lady of that country from 1989 to 2009. Who am I? Edith Lucille Bongo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Edith Lucille Bongo. She was first. First, I didn't ask you which country, but um, first lady of Gabon, okay. She was the daughter of Congolese president and she was a pediatrician. All right, David. 26. 
David, the United Nations was set up in 1945, and I am the African who became the sixth Secretary General of the United Nations in 1992. Who am I? Buchos Buchos Gali. Yeah, Buchos Buchos Gali. Not Kofi Annan. He was a second. Okay. Question one. I was a monarch and I lost my title because I married a British woman. Later, I formed a political party with contested elections and I became the first president of Botswana. Who am I? Sereti Kama. Sereti Kama. Hey, boys. <laughs> okay, Charles. Five. Ooh. I am an African medieval emperor. In the year 1375, cartographers who were producing the Catalan Atlas put my image on the map of the world where my country should have been. Who am I? Mansa Musa. Mansa Musa is correct. <laughs> okay. I led the independence fight in a country which used to be called French Sudan. I became the first president of that great country, which was later called by its great name of Mali. Who am I? Modibo Keita. Modibo Keita. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, okay. I was born in 1786 and I founded modern day Lesotho. I fought to repel invading Boers and British and kept my country intact. Who am I? King Moshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshoshosho
Okay, so that, that uh, does it for the map interpretation questions. And now, once again, it's time for Ultimate Karimbu. One. one, hold it, three, and two. Please, when you um, when you read your question, you don't have to wait for the 15 seconds. You can start answering. It's up to you, but be careful. Read the question very well. Make sure you understand it. Okay, turn it over. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, hands down. All right. Thank you. Wait. Okay. This is question number three. David's question. This man staged a coup in his country in 1983. He orchestrated the change of his country's name in 1984. Until the year 2005, a circle in Ghana bore his name. He was assassinated in 1987. Now, what I want you to do is list his name, his country's former name, his country's present name, and the name of the circle that bore his name. The name of the circle that bore his name. Not that bears his name right now. Okay. And he got it right. The man is Captain Thomas Sankara. The country, his, his country's former name is Upper Volta. His country's present name is Burkina Faso. And the um, circle that bore his name is Sankara Circle. But you put something there which you needn't have put. You said it's now Obechibilamte. It isn't. It's Akwaji. But I didn't ask you that question. I, I asked Sankara Circle. So that is superfluous. You needn't have added it, you know. So you got it right. Okay. <laughs> there are 19 members of the common market for Eastern and Southern Africa. Name any four. Who, who had that question? You. Okay. So, um... You got it right. Name any four. Rwanda, Burundi, Zambia, Zimbabwe. You got it right. You got everything right. And the last question is, the Republic of South Africa has produced several Nobel Prize laureates. By coincidence, two of them once lived on the same street. List one, the name of the street, the suburb where the street is, the city where the street is, and either of the two Nobel laureates. And you also, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but you missed one, the city. You missed the city. The, the name of the street is Vilakazi Street. You got that one right. The suburb is Soweto. You got that one right. And you gave me the two laureates who are Desmond Tutu and Nelson Mandela. You got that right, but I asked for only one. You should have given me the city of Johannesburg. So you got three out of four. So he got three out of four. Yeah. 
Well done. Well done. Well done to all of you. And we are, we've, we've um, come to the end. We are going to tally the scores now. Welcome back. Finally, we have a winner. We are done with season two of Karimbu. We are already looking forward to season three. And I'm um, happy to say we have a winner from 27 contestants. One of them has stood out as the cream in the cup and has come up tops. It was a very close race, as you could see, that the prize could have gone to any one of them. And they picked the questions themselves. It was random. I always say that if you know a question, it's easy. If you don't know it, then it becomes difficult. One person cannot know everything. So, but it's obvious to us all that they are, they've all done extremely well. So I'm happy to announce the scores. And that is um, the, our ultimate winner will go to Charles Afote from St. Thomas Aquinas. <laughs> and uh, he got the highest point. David Effa from Presec. Next. And Adeliza Afote. Yeah. Each of them is a winner. In Karimbu, everybody is a winner. So um, congratulations to all of you. And now it's my pleasure and honor to invite the CEO of Quality Life Assurance, Dr. Aaron Isa Anafuri, to help me to give out the prizes. And Good afternoon to you all. <laughs> In Karimbu, there's no loser. Exactly. Everybody is a winner. Yes. Um, it has been keenly contested. Yes. I've sat in throughout, yes. and I must say that I was even me who <laughs> was was not participating. I mean, partaking in the quiz. <laughs> I was more tense, but I managed myself, <laughs> which means that the questions were good, and your answers were equally good. Yes. I'm happy. And my company is happy to be associated with Karimbu because <laughs> yes, we, we travel out to other countries and they don't know about us. Yeah. And they know about themselves. Yeah. If you ask an American, he will tell you a lot of things about America. If you ask an American about Ghana, no. And we ourselves, we don't even know Ghana. We go to learn things about other countries. Yeah. So this is the way forward for us to start from home. Learn about you are an African. You can you can change. You can you can go for a second citizenship, but your first citizenship is an African. Yeah. You are a Ghanaian. You can go for a second one, but your first is Ghanaian. So let's be proud of being Ghanaians. Let's be proud of being Africans. And to be proud of being a Ghanaian or an African, you must know in and out of Africa, in and out of Ghana. Today has been one of the best for me for so many years. I haven't sat in to see this, oh. and I'm so happy <laughs> that. Karimbu is bringing us straight to the door <laughs> math of whatever we are supposed to do. I will encourage parents to take keen interest in the, in the education of their children. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming. So now, um, please, um, can we have the third prize first? And then we shall hand it over to Dr. and Ebenezer. He's the one I call Kufo. I said he looks like our former president. Look at him. <laughs> Okay, give it to uh, Doctor. Doctor, I'll hand it over to him. Um, okay. Shake it, Sam. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. Second prize, David. <laughs> Be sick. Be sick. Be sick. <laughs> well done. Well done. You did so well. <laughs> okay. Well done, Karim. And the ultimate prize. <laughs> Hey, I'll put it. <laughs> okay, doctor has to give it to you. Well done, well done, Charles. Right from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Charles is in um, Saint Thomas Aquinas. Okay, well done, well done. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you, All right. Honor. So on this note. 
goodbye and we'll see you again in season three. Thank you very much for joining us for these 13 weeks. Bye. <laughs>